Alright, I'm the jump master, I guess. Yeah. Yes, please. Oh. Uh, then no, no bras. I'm not picky. Get it out of there, man. You, you can fight for yourself. Oh, shit, man. I right, take back what I said. The fuck over here then. <laughs> Thanks. 
Oh shit, got a guy here. Got a guy here. Oh shit, he's right behind me. Oh, he's down there. Oh shit, another guy. Oh, killed both of them guys. Uh, just gonna camp here for a minute. Alright, we are out of here. Should probably take the ride. Gonna go to the center over there. Oh shit! How did I not see the person? This just doesn't make any sense. In real life, I'd be so quick to get dropped. Macaroni, baby. Oh, this person. Oh, what's a race, brother? You want a race? Okay, come on, let's. On a race, let's go. Skoda. Come on. I got 20 into it. I'd like to get it up to the gallon. Yeah, as well as I can get the cable we've got. Oh, you. Okay, we get it, you win. No, man. I'll tell you what, I'll do 11 as it is, man. It's a good It's a good one. 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 It's a Well, I guess it wasn't too bad even. So. Oh, 
content on that one, but I look like Bruce Willis in Die Hard. Damn it, got a fucking feel up again. Ah, this economy. I'm gonna go harass a bunch of waitresses. I can see the light. You can't shut down the neighbors. But you can't shut down your toughest cold and flu symptoms with NyQuil Complete. The nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, stuffy head, so you can rest. Medicine. I am the double down. Other sandwiches want to be me. Fried chicken lovers want to eat me. I trip it up on hand bread, so you better double down and get me before you can't. I'm eating my emotions. Oh shit, there's someone else here. Hey, get back here. So is that target really necessary? Oh, shit. Uh, slay the vampire. So we're out here at the gun range because I bought a vampire defense kit. And I ask Alice to come down because he needs to do a little research and maybe find out some more. Plus, I'm really anxious to shoot these pistols and see if they fire. Knowing I can market these things as working guns will bring me more money and a quicker set. You know what, bud? No good, man. I'm so glad you got this. <laughs> After I saw the kid, I went away thinking about that letter, and I thought, who are those people? And I did some research, and I think I loosely connected this to Bram Stoker, who wrote Dracula and his circle of friends, which makes oh, this kid more exciting. I'm going to be needing so all this back. Thinking about that letter, it's to Philip Vernon Jones, and it's about a woman named Pixie, and it's signed by Arthur. And Pixie is an actress who is having an affair with Joey Jones Byrne. Oh, man. He painted that painting, The Vampire. Mm. And yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. Come on. And there was an Arthur in that group of friends. Arthur Conan Doyle, dog okay. Sherlock Holmes. That would be an odd group of friends. <laughs> yeah, it really is. There's also a postcard in here, which I didn't really understand. So that's Whitney. In the novel, Dracula ships himself in the coffin with Transylvanian soil to Whitby Abbey. That would be that right there. Exactly. That's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> this has like one of the greatest stories ever. That's all cool, but didn't we come out here to shoot some guns? Yes, we did. So let's load these things up. All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
Come on, let's go for 10 kills. 10 kills, that's all. That's all, that's all, let's go. Fucking right. One, two. All right. Let's get one more. Let me see wherever this son of a bitch is. With the quality of the stuff, the pistols work, and the story that we're unraveling, I think a minimum of 25,000, maybe even over 30. This thing's just so amazing. The pistols work, and there's an old saying in my business that people don't buy the item, they buy the story. And the better the story, the more money you can get out of it. What a hell of a day. Told you this is a good buy. That's a dead vampire. Or a dead zombie. Got yeah. It's a zombie with pegs. You don't know how dumb that sounds. Let the vampire get away. Sure. Oh shit. Well, what in the world do we got here? I've got a replica of the 1954 Universal Classic Monster creature from the Black Lagoon. That's uh, different. Where in the world did you get this? It's been in my collection for 16 years. And it uh, was signed by the original actor who played Gilman, the creature of the Black Lagoon. What a great career, right? Yeah. <laughs> it basically was a creature that they discovered in the Amazon. Give me a mini. Ended up getting the girl, and the hero had to save her at the end of the movie. Which is something that really scared me in those days. Your dad was better. This is pretty cool, man. So where'd you get it? I bought it at a store in Southern California uh, back in 1998. And that night, Ben was there signing autographs. And I have the pictures of him standing next to him. Of course, I was much younger and had a little bit more hair in those days. Okay. <laughs> so why the creature from the Black Lagoon? Just a big fan or? You know, the movie is- That's what it is, the Black Lagoon. Back in the 1950s when I originally saw it. Yeah, it was pretty much like the last of the classic horror films. After that, everything ain't like that. He's it's gotta be here uh, somewhere. The Creature from the Black Lagoon is a great horror movie from the 1950s. Gotta be Some here. Some people say that the opening underwater shots of Jaws are a tribute to the movie, since Steven Spielberg was a big fan of the Black Lagoon. So it's a pretty iconic movie. No, he's over there. Looking at $2,200. Thing is, I don't know how long... Oh, well, then get the kill, but... Like and subscribe, share. Uh,